Hello everyone, this is Terry Marsden and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the BeatStep Pro with Logic Pro 10. Okay, so I've got my arrangement window open in Logic and I've already set up the three instruments I'm going to use within Logic and their MIDI channels uh, as set to the BeatStep Pro. And on my fourth channel I've got a uh, my MIDI keyboard which is a Novation Impulse um, and which we will use for um, transposing and also to record into the BeatStep Pro. Right, the first thing we need to do is open up the environment window and this is um, the way I've set it up. So in the mixer, mixer view, uh, what we need to do is add some uh, parts that we need to add to filter out the channels, each channel of the BeatStep Pro. So first we're going to need a physical input, the most important bit, because this has got all your MIDI inputs on it. And then go up to new and then we need a monitor, um, which is very, very important. And then we're going to need three transformers. Um, one, two, three. So, and that's for each sequence and the drums. Right, okay. So the next thing to do is from the BeatStep Pro, we need to get a connection to the monitor like so and then from the monitor up to transformer one and then to transformer two and another one for transformer three and next we need to double click on the transformer and set this up um, this is going to be my drums so you put on apply operation and non-filter matching events put channel to equals and i'm going to put that on to channel 10 for my drums, so close that and then open up the next one, apply operation, uh, equals and oh, channel one uh, for sequence one and again for sequence two, like so. So the next thing I'm going to do is from the transformer, this is going to be my drums, I run the cable over to Spark here and then sequence one which I think is going to be in the matrix I do believe and then the last one to the CSV80 okay so that gives you your filtering and your connections from the BeatStep Pro directly to those instruments um, one more thing I'm going to do is from the impulse I'm going to run my cable to here to my impulse input channel so that's all you need to do to set it up okay so that's it um, any questions leave them leave a message on my uh, YouTube channel okay thank you very much